Hey folks, it's Ryan and Bugman, and I'm here at headquarters. Look, I just want to go over a couple things with you. Um, I get a lot of questions when we're doing events, and probably one of the most common questions I get is, what is my favorite insect? And with 250,000 bugs surrounding me and all this worldwide travel and all this cool stuff, my answer surprises people. The falcate orange tip is probably my favorite of all insects. This cool little butterfly only comes out for like two weeks in first you know, part of April, and then it's gone for the rest of the year. Most people have no idea this butterfly exists. Uh, it's a stunning little butterfly, and I fell in love with these when I was a kid. So that's my favorite insect right here in Pennsylvania. Those things are flying, it's pretty cool. Another question I get, not very often, but when I do, it's fun, is what kind of insect would I like to be? That's probably also surprising to people because check this out, man. I would like to be a death feigning beetle. And first of all, the reason I like these beetles is because they play dead. That's kind of neat because look, predators don't eat you if you're dead. So that's a great way to survive. Secondly, death feigning beetles, they live for about eight years. And that is a long time for an insect to live. They're also so hard that predators can't even eat them. And that is super cool too. They're it's like chewing on a rock. There's even rumors in the entomology world that some entomologists have had to use a small hammer to tap pins into these dead beetles to pin them into their collections. That is a great way to survive, man. I am all about survivability. I want to live as long as I can because I love life. Now, probably the other most common question I get, and this is a little easier to answer, is what insects make good pets? My go-to for that is, and this is where I get into one of my favorites versus what might make a good pet, but I, I think these make a good pet. Hercules beetles make a good pet. Takes about two years for these beetles to go from egg to adult, and as an adult, they're going to eat fruit, so they're super easy to keep alive, and they will live for about seven or eight, sometimes nine months. Those aren't pinchers, those are horns. So you don't have to worry about these things. There's no beetles out there that are hurting anybody. Totally harmless. That's the whole key if you're gonna have a bug pet. Now, here's one that kind of surprises people, I think. Um, but we even offer this as part of our birthday party program. When we go out, we offer to give these to the birthday kid as a pet. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And cockroaches, you know, they disgust people. People love to hate cockroaches. Look, they're not the bad things people want them to be. Super easy to keep. They live for up to five years years and they're going to eat things like potato peels and carrot peels and lettuce and super super easy stuff veggies and people can appreciate the fact that it's a vegetarian that's kind of neat now the other thing and probably the most you know popular of the insects that people like to keep as pets would be a praying mantis and praying mantis are you know they're a little fun um, they can be a little, you know, a little scratchy so holding them is not necessarily the most fun thing to do for some people but these things are awesome. Now, the one thing, the drawback to these are that they're seasonal. They also, you have to wait till the end of the summer for these things to be mature, and then you can feed them bugs and insects and fun things like that because that's what they do. They're a predator. But people can really appreciate the praying mantis as an insect pet. So there you go. I hope this works for you. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, man, it's Ryan Bridge and Bugman. Hey, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.